Hey everyone, this is Heather and I'm back with another video. I wanted to share with you a haul that I recently bought. Um, I went to Scrapbooker's Paradise in Calgary, Alberta here. If you live near the Calgary area or near Red Deer or Lethbridge, they also have locations there, you should definitely check out Scrapbooker's Paradise because they are awesome. I really like that store and they often have, well not often, but they sometimes have the 40% off coupons just like Michael's does and it's actually 45% if you're a member which I'm not but 40% is excellent anyway so I'll tell you more about that when I get to it but um, I wanted to share this with you so anyways I got this adhesive I really love the scrapbook adhesives brand can you see that this kind is the white permanent and it comes in these little strippy things you can see that's what it looks like and I love this brand so I stocked up on some of that what I have been using is this Elmer's tape runner and it's pretty good it's not bad it doesn't clog or anything but I do prefer the scrapbook adhesives and um, I also got these Prima flowers there there's some tool they look like they're made of tulle and some other fabric, and they're regular $6.50. They were on for half price, so I thought that was a good deal. By the way, sorry for the poor lighting. It's evening and it's dark outside, and I'm using my lamp, and it's not a great source of light, so sorry about that. This is one of the new Tim Holtz stamp sets. Um, it's called Road Trip, and there you can see it right there. It's called Road Trip, and I do believe it's new for 2012, but I'm not positive on that. Um, I really liked it because we're, oh, sorry for that glare. We are going to Manitoba in the, at Easter time, and we go there usually twice a year, and it's about an 11 hour drive, so I really like to document that. So, I like those, and it is... American with the Route 66 and this has like miles per gallon and stuff, but that's okay. I still love it. I love anything Tim Holtz. So here I have a bunch of patterned paper. I will try to speed through this, but I just love patterned paper. This is kind of a blue one. This is the front side, but I like the other side better. This is Piccadilly by Basic Gray. This is a My Mind's Eye one from the Lost and Found. I'm really into tape measures lately, so I liked that. I always have to pick up more ledger paper. This is the Girl's Papery. I definitely prefer this side, but the orange is nice too. This is more Mind's Eye paper, and I love the wood grain. It's from the Miss Caroline collection. There's that side. This is actually a different collection, but it goes pretty well with that last one. More wood grain, polka dot on the back. It's my mind's eye, but it's called the bright side. This one is, I just love the postage sort of um, collage of that. And I actually love this side too, the um, grid. That's my mind's eye, follow your heart. Here is, on the bright side, another um, wood grain. That's a blue wood grain, green polka dot. Love that. I fell in love with these cameras as soon as I saw them because I love vintage things right now. And I love cameras, especially vintage cameras. So it was a perfect combination. More ledger on the back, which I like. Um, this is Echo Park. This and that. Um... This is the same line, Echo Park, this and that. More measuring tape, which I love, and some printing on the back. This is the same collection. Um, I figured I could cut some of these out for journaling cards, but I just love the colors of them all together. And yellow stripe back. I love these kind of 
pages where you can cut them apart for journaling cards similar to the last one so I just had to get this because I'm thinking about scrapbooking some of my um, school stuff from high school. This is called Off to School from Fancy Pants. This I actually thought kind of went with this one. The blues, like see this note card and the um, clouds. This is from Bella Boulevard and it's called Finally Fall. I love the that red polka dot on the back. This is Bow Bunny um, Weekend Market Postage, I think. Oh, it's just called Weekend Market. And then the back. Love that. <clears throat> and this is a kit that I bought. Well, a collection, I guess. I don't normally do this, but I really loved all these colors together, so I just had to get it. And again, it's regular. $15.99 you can see there but it was half price so eight bucks not bad and it comes with all the papers in the collection they're all double sided it comes with two sticker sheets and a note card sheet and thought that was a really good deal so there you can see some of the stickers love the colors um, and it's kind of a vintage diner theme. See there's the jukebox and the records and salt and pepper milkshake that kind of thing and actually I wanted to point out that this stamp set I think will go really nicely with it because you can see here the car sticker goes almost perfectly with this car sticker so I think I could turn this into a road trip theme somehow and use these with it and um, I also wanted to say I use my 40% off coupon on these stamps, which are regular, I believe it was something like $36, so I got them for 40% off, which I thought was really awesome. So, that's my haul. Thanks so much for watching, and please check out my blog if you have a moment or are interested, because I really like that support. So thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later. So I have another haul kind of thing to share with you. I was going to put this in the same video, but I forgot. <laughs> so anyways, I was recently in Manitoba for Easter holidays, and there's a scrapbook store there in Brandon. It's called Shelley's Scrapbooking, I believe. I think that's what it's called. Scrapbooking at Shelley's, sorry. And it's in Brandon, Manitoba, and I really love her little store, and she has so much stuff in such a small space, it's just awesome. So anyways, I got these. I have some paper that goes with these, and I've been meaning to use it. They were on sale for only a dollar. Isn't that awesome? And they're so cute. There's these wing chip boards. I already opened this, but this is the packaging. Um, that was five something. There's just a ton in here. You can see all the different shapes on the back small and big ones. Then I got these chipboards. I have the um, paper collection that goes with these, so I thought I should pick these up. Um, I bought some new wires for my cinch. These are, this is a six pack of one and a quarter inch, and it's brass colored. So that's awesome. And this I thought was an amazing deal, $9.39. Um, they had some that were the exact same but in black I think and for some reason those ones were like 16 something so I don't know why these ones were cheaper but I'll take it anyway oh these are just some magazines I had shoved in there that wasn't part of my haul and I had this paper really cute um, bicycles I love this side trucks on the other side baseball paper because I'm starting baseball this spring so that'll be good thought this was adorable. This would make a cute little boy birthday card or something. Here's her newsletter if you're interested. She's also online. Scrapbooking at Shelley's. Um, so yeah, I'll put her online link in the description box because she's got an awesome site too. And then found this paper which I liked because I could cut all these out. It's really nice. And that's the back. So, 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I have some more stuff I'd like to share with you. Um, I don't know how many of you live in Canada or even in Alberta, but if you do and you are close to the Strathmore, Alberta area, you should certainly check out um, a place called Paper and Lace. Um, a lady named Pam runs this from her home and she's just got her bonus room set up as her store but she has some amazing prices so if you're interested just let me know and well I'll might as well put the link to her website in the description box below so check that out um, because she has really awesome prices I don't know how she does it but it's awesome so I got these brads um, they were in the dollar bin so I got all of these for a dollar and those are basic gray this paper pad by um, Simple Stories. It's called Documented. This was $5.85. These are Canadian prices, by the way. Tons of awesome patterns in here. And there's lots of um, things to cut out, journaling cards and stuff. Um, here is the Echo Park This and That paper line. And this whole kit was only $13.20. That's an amazing price for this kind of thing because it comes with all of these pattern papers as well as two sticker sheets and a um, card paper that you can cut out. So here's one sticker sheet, but this is like an awesome deal. And then this is Echo Park as well. Um, it's a baseball pack, so here's what you get. You get one of each of these sheets, they're all double-sided and so basically you get two of each pattern but there is six sheets in total and then there's this sticker sheet of baseball this was a great deal too and then I picked up some other papers this was in the sale bin I love this piece, I've had this before this is a really thin paper and it's it would be great for making die cut flowers and stuff if you want to distress them and whatever, so that's awesome. I picked up a bunch of these Bow Bunny etc. papers, so you've probably seen these, most of them. Great vintage patterns, I love them all. So I picked up one of each that she had. And then these were in the sale bin as well, just thought they're adorable. Um, this is Imaginus school paper. These are double-sided too. And then this one isn't in this collection. I just like that one too. So, yeah. Some awesome deals. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll talk to you soon.